tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 59. It's finally time for the main event here in 2025. Away we go in Super Bowl 59. And we will not have a return to the first drive of this Super Bowl. will begin at the 25. First and ten, it's Hurts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at their own 46. First carry for Nick Chubb. Chubb will have the first down and much more. And down right around the 37. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses.
So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Chubb running right. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. down they'll run with Chubb they give him four yards there it'll be second and six well if you're a football guy that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there obviously the guy carrying the ball but how about the people up front leverage athleticism they created some nice space for him coming up on a second and six Handoff comes to Chubb. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. try and run for it and he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. just enough push up front he only needed about six inches he didn't get a whole lot more than that no but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation as you noted where he only needed inches Fourth down run, six.
tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 59. It's finally time for the main event here in 2025. Away we go in Super Bowl 59. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. First down, Hurts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. No, oh, he just Touchdown, Falcons. A great effort there. 79 yards. And the Falcons have struck quickly here in the opening minute of this Super Bowl. So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And what we see here is something that we saw all year long from them. The ability to strike from anywhere on the field. How about the way they got it started in this one? Extra point by Koo up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo.
Tonight, it's the National Football League. Super Bowl 59. It's finally time for the main event here in 2025. Away we go in Super Bowl 59. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Fullback try and push the pile. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Now the first carry for Darrington Evans. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. run got three now here's second and seven hurts he's got his pass catching tight end that's Pitts only three yards on the catch it's third down I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. On the give, this is their fullback. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. They'll try and run for this with Evans. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. Play action. Here's Hurts. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, that didn't take very long. You mentioned you have to keep him under wraps. Avoid the big play is what you said, and here he makes one in the first quarter. Yeah, you can't let this become a habit. Otherwise, you know what will happen? The flat out take over this game. So that'll back him up five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. And that'll set him back five. Here's Hurts to throw. And a catch right side by Evans. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. to throw. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Falcons are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Two able to connect on the extra point and that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully.
first carry now for Nick Chubb. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw is Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Browns. A great play there. 70 yards. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. Extra point splits the uprights. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Now a second down and six. They go play action with Hertz. That one complete to the former Seminole, Auden Tate. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play that time on the catch and run. The thing that hurt on that play, the missed tackle, that allowed the extra yardage. It's a matchup game in the NFL. You get the guy that you want isolated, have him miss a tackle, and off you go. They'll run on first down with Evans. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sets up to throw it. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. They'll look to throw here on first. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 
Sometimes the visuals don't exactly work out the way you expect. They wanted to let him use his size there and float one up to him, but he wasn't able to get any separation. The DB was right on him and forced the incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. So they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. He'll look to throw. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Now they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Jay Rowe Latalua taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Extra point by Koo up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. No return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On second and seven, Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. 
They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And some room to roam now. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. 52 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He'll buy some time right. His throw incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. To throw again on second down. Hurts. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Rolling to his right, and that is incomplete. You know, he's been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses have their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Greg Newsom. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. drive about to get started and through one half at least this Super Bowl has been everything it was cracked up to be all tied 
What's your key for them, Charles, in the second half? Simplicity, partner, because in the Super Bowl, with the extra time at halftime, I think some staffs get caught up in trying to design too many things. It's all tied up. They have to remember what they did to get here, put that back into play here in the second half, and I think they'll be all right. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Watson. Blitz coming, and down he goes. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Well, you don't have to be a student of X's and O's to know that right there, that just was the perfect play call defensively. You're exactly right, because what they did really well, disguised their intentions. They never thought that the corner would come on the blitz, but when he did, that QB was exposed and brought to the ground. third and long they'll look to throw he's gonna loft one deep left side here and the defense loses him it's complete and all the way in touchdown Cleveland a big play there his second touchdown of this Super Bowl and the Browns have moved out in front extra point right down the middle and the lead is now 21 14 the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. On first down, Henley. And oh, his first carry. He loses the football. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. Wow. That ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Hurts throw into the hands of Pitts here. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. 
That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Right back to Pitts again. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, an 11-yard touchdown. Now the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. drive about to get started and these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter so we're right back to where we started at intermission yeah how about that tied at the half tied after the first two drives of the third quarter one for each that tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game 78 yards for him on the ground now he has been a tough man to bring down all night Ahead of the chains now, second and two. And again, it's Chubb. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yards runs, and goes to one of those. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give. This is Chubb. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Penalty, Chubb trucks over him. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point splits the uprights, and they will take a seven-point lead. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. A 
about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl. Trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. And they work this well up field across the 45. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. He's able to take it down to the 42. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man. And he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though. But I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. Throw left side, take it in by Claypool. A gain of six there on first. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Second and four. He'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that'll make it third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 15-yard line. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll set up a throw. On the screen, this is Evans. Touchdown, Falcons! Darrington Evans. A five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. drive about to get started and this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory all even here in this fourth quarter they start on the ground with Nick Chubb and running with power here fighting through and he's got space and all the way in touchdown Cleveland with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Back to throw here. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, and there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do, keep churning out first downs. to throw he's got Claypool and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 a good pick up there 8 yards on the first down completion second and 2 Gone, a give to Evans. Evans has got the first down and then so. And down right around the 37. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. He's back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. He'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Back to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try and run for it with Evans. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Brandon, what were they thinking?
thinking on defense there. That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance blocking and getting the runner across the goal line. It's a huge roll of the dice. A two-point conversion to decide the Super Bowl. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we may very well be headed to overtime. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. It's a squib kick picked up near the 25. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And he will be taken down. And that means we are headed to overtime. And we have free football. Overtime. Here we go, my friend. Overtime in a playoff game. Awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble, gets picked up, the defense scores, game over. But here's the best part. In a regular season, only one period is played. We could call it a tie. Here, we're going to play until we have a winner. The Browns drive about to get started. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown to win. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Throw an OT for Watson. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So he hooked up with a veteran there. And in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Second and 12.
Another try after the first down sack. Watson. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And he's into the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. And how about...